Hello and welcome. You're watching News Central and this is Sports on the Go with me, Olisa Chukuma. Well, starting out in Ghana, where the football effort in the country say they're set to announce a new coach after sacking coach CK Akana on Monday. After I announced that, it said the executive council had decided to terminate the contract of the Black Stars coach Akana and his two assistants with immediate effect. Now, the move comes a week after Ghana's 1-0 defeat away to South Africa in the second Group G game of the World Cup qualifying series there. Now, the result left the Ghana Black Stars third in the group on three points after two of uh, from six games now with only group winners advancing to the next round but for the ghana side well they take on zimbabwe in their next round of 2022 world cup qualifiers in october so the search and the hunt of a new coach for the ghana black stars is on let's hear from the fa in the next day or two well more news this time in the world of football and all about the health of brazilian great Pelé. Now we do hear that the legend is to be moved out of intensive care in the next day or two after having surgery to remove a tumor from his colon. Now the 80-year-old is being treated at the Albert Einstein Hospital in Sao Paulo and his uh, daughter Kelly Nascimento said her father was doing well and is not in pain. Uh, she made that post on Instagram and the three-time World Cup winner has been receiving treatment at the hospital since the 31st of August after the tumor was detected in regular routine tests. We wish the very best and good health for 80-year-old Brazil legend Pele. So some football this time, as we saw Everton last night, coming back from a goal down to win 3-1 at Goodison Park. It was all about the superb goal scored by Andros Townsend uh, to bring them back and go level on points with the top three. Uh, Townsend came in as a free arrival this summer and also set up an equalizer for Michael Keane, uh, whose header cancelled out Ben Mee's uh, finish uh, for the Clarets. Now, five minutes later, uh, the winger scored himself with a curling 25-yard finish uh, to send uh, some delirious celebrations out there at Goodison Park. It even got better for the home fans at Demaria Gray, uh, talking the third goal for them to win three goals to one. It completed an amazing turnaround for Rafa Benitez's team, who now sit level with Manchester United, Chelsea and Liverpool on 10 points after an unbeaten start to the campaign. It's not a bad one for Everton and Andros Townsend, 3-1 against Burnley. Let's talk about the UEFA Champions League. We return uh, to night Europeans' uh, top club football in, uh, competition. And all eyes will be on defending champions Chelsea and uh, Thomas Tuchel, including Rom Lukaku, who's back at Stamford Bridge. He's been scoring goals on his return. Now, Chelsea take on Zenit St. Petersburg at Stamford Bridge. And their manager, Thomas Tuchel, had lots to say ahead of their new season campaign in Europe. But believe it or not, I think there are so, so many teams who can win it. it you need, a, you need a, a bit of luck, you need a momentum, you need a good group. But there are so many teams out there who have a good group, a strong club and good players and good coaches. So this competition is, is a very open competition. And like you also see in other sports, in, uh, it's, it's, anything is possible. Well, another big game tonight when it comes to the Champions League. We'll see Barcelona taking on Bayern Munich. Well, the last time these two teams uh, met, well, remember, it was an 8-2 victory in favour of the German champions. Robert Lewandowski will be on hand uh, tonight. And Barcelona will have the likes of Ronald Koeman and perhaps uh, Martin Braithwaite. Uh, quite a big fixture on match day one, quite a marquee one. Barca against Bayern Munich. A big game tonight in the UEFA uh, Champions League. But other matches, we'll see Dinamo Kiev take on Benfica. Young boys in Switzerland will host Manchester United and Cristiano Ronaldo. He scored twice for them on his return to Old Trafford. Villarreal against Atalanta of Italy. Sevilla against Salzburg of Austria. The French champions Lille Metropole take on Wolfsburg of Germany. Chelsea against Zenit. And Malmö of Sweden take on Juventus. Well, away from football, let's talk about tennis. Now, more praise and reactions trail the 18-year-old Emma Raducanu's victory at the U.S. Open out there at Flushing Meadows. And one man who's talking about it is uh, a former three-time champion, Andy Murray, who says that victory is very special and presents opportunity to attract more people to the sport. Now, the 18-year-old Emma Raducanu became the first British woman to win a Grand Slam singles title in 44 years when she beat Ella Fernandez in the final Joshua became the first qualifier in history to claim a major. And there'll be lots of more reactions to the 18-year-old victory out there at Flushing Meadows. But that's it right here on Sports On The Go with me, Olisa Chukumabo. There's still lots to follow and track on News Central, so do stay with us.